All right, welcome to Bible study. We're on question 17 in Westminster Shorter Catechism. So question 17. Into what estate did the fall bring mankind? Answer. The fall brought mankind into an estate of sin and misery. And we can read here in Genesis chapter 3, 16 through 19. We're reading out of the ESV. To the woman he said, I will surely multiply your pain in childbearing. In pain you shall bring forth children. Your desire shall be for your husband, and he shall rule over you. And to Adam he said, Because you have listened to the voice of your wife and have eaten of the tree of which I commanded you, you shall not eat of it. Cursed is the ground because of you. In pain you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Thorns and thistles it shall bring forth for you, and you shall eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face you shall eat bread, till you return to the ground. For out of the ground you were taken, for you are dust, and to dust you shall return. And again, we read here in Genesis 3.16. To the woman he said, I will surely multiply your pain in childbearing. In pain you shall bring forth children. Your desire shall be for your husband, and he shall rule over you. In Romans 3.16 we read, In their paths are ruin and misery. Romans 5.12 Therefore, just as sin came into the world through one man, and death through sin, so death spread to all men, because all sinned. You and I sin, and it's because we have inherited the sin nature from Adam. And Ephesians 2, 1 explains this. And you were dead in trespasses and sin. We can go a little further and read Ephesians 2 again. See what that is in context here. And you were dead in trespasses and sins in which you once walked following the course of this world, following the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience, among whom we all once lived in the passions of our flesh, carrying out the desires of the body and the mind, and were by nature children of wrath like the rest of mankind. So you see we've inherited the sin nature from Adam, from Adam's sin, because we were all in Adam when he sinned, and we are his offspring. And now verse 4 says, But God, being rich in mercy, because of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved, and raised us up with him, and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, so that in the coming ages he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not as a result of works, so that no one may boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. And because of God's mercy, because of the great love with which he loved us, even while, even when we were dead in our trespasses, we were dead, he made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved. It was his unmerited kindness that we received this. Now, 
I'm going to read from 11 on. Chapter 2, 11 on to 22. Therefore remember that one time you Gentiles in the flesh called the uncircumcision by what is called the circumcision which is made in the flesh by the by hands remember that you were at the time at that time separated from Christ alienated from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers to the covenants of promise having no hope and without God in the world but now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For he himself is our peace, who has made us both one and has broken down in his flesh the dividing wall of hostility by abolishing the law of commandments expressed in ordinances that he might create in himself one new man in place of the two to make so making peace and might reconcile us both to God in one body through the cross, thereby killing the hostility. And he came and preached peace to you who were far off and peace to those who were near. For through him we both have access in one spirit to the Father. So then you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God, built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Christ Jesus himself being the cornerstone, in whom the whole structure being joined together grows into a holy temple in the Lord. In him you also are being built together into a dwelling place for God by the Spirit. So question 17, in what a state did the fall bring mankind? Answer, the fall brought mankind into an estate of sin and misery. This has been Bible Studies. Till next time, God bless.